Hey, what is up guys, Angel's Plants here, and today, I just got done filming the video that y'all just saw of my plant update, but I also wanted to record another one just to show y'all my top favorite plants that David has. Now, I think we did a video like this a while back, I believe, but I wanted to give y'all my perspective on the more updated version of which ones I like. Now let's get into it now if you haven't already please subscribe and please like the video if you've been liking my content so far they really appreciate it and let's get into it now we can start on this side the little aloha that he has gotten this one he hasn't had for a while i think since park 410 since the very beginning of his videos i believe yeah like this is like one of my top favorite plants that, that he has and I kind of want to get one like that. Number two is the prayer plant. This one hasn't died at all. It's been, you know, neglected for so much. And, and for the for it just to stay like that, you know, it's pretty impressive, I would say. So that will be number two. For my number for my number three will be this begonia. I have given this one to my boyfriend. And this plant comes back and forth every once in a while. You know, it puts new growth, then it, the, the new growth dies out. But I really like it because it really holds like a special thing in my heart. When, when that one time went to, uh, I think this one's from Shades of Green, right? Shades of Green? Yes, Shades of Green. Yes. So last, that was the day that I found this plant and I enjoyed it a lot. So that will be number three. Number four will be the String of Hearts because this girl has gotten huge. Really, really huge. Which I like about her. You know, I just, it's kind of fascinating to see that, you know, they look like hearts. And, you know, and he had this, I think, the same thing, Park 410. So it's it's come a long way. And I we hope you really deserved. I know I like the spot that I put it in on number four. Number five will be the Rattlesnake Calathea. To me, I just like the name by itself. And the way it's like, you know, it's designed, like the pattern. It's really, really like, you know, eye-catching to me. I've never seen anything like that. So I'll be a good place for number five. Number six, this other Calathea as well. I just like the design. I just, I really like it a lot. I just, I can't say anything about it. And I want like a, ba like a baby version so I can actually, I want like a little baby version so I can actually like grow it from when it's little to when it gets bigger. For number seven, it would be this plant which I think it's a rare one from what he told me. I just like it. It's different, unique. The colors are very like weird. And no, this one's just like all like a light green. Then it just goes dark green on the rest of the sides. So it'll be a good place for number seven. For number eight, it would be the Monstera. This girl has been, you know, with David for like the longest time and it's been here even before we have met so it's a good place for number nine and then for number 10 i think this one was pretty much i was pretty much proud of him when he got it the thai constellation that would be on number 10 because that's a pretty like it's a pretty plant a good variegation and i know i think right now they're hard to get what i believe and they're pushing the back for another year. But that'll be good for number 10. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. I'm gonna kind of short a little bit. But that was my top 10 plants that I like about David's collection. But anyways, if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Like I said in the beginning of the video. And subscribe if you haven't already. Now, I will see you on the next one, everybody. Thank you for participating in this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.